Ah, uh, we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Good morning to you. We got to go right to the phones. Talking about uh, first time you jacked it, I guess. Yeah, we were kind of talking about that, weren't we? I don't know how we got. Oh, we got on that subject because of the guy listening to the Sacramento couple yesterday. Right, right. Okay, gotcha. Uh, let's say hi to Fred. Hey, Fred, where are you calling from, man? Uh, I'm calling from Augusta, Georgia, right now. Okay, you got a story for us? Yes, sir. I can remember. Uh, I'm 50 years old, so give me that to it. I remember the days when we were with my mom. We had her Simpsons Series catalog, and that's where you were jerking off to. So I remember the first time I right, got. Slow living. down, slow down, slow down. What? Okay. Oh, what catalog? A Simpson Sears catalog. I'm from Canada, so it's a, a Sears catalog. Sears right? catalog. Oh, okay. That he would jack it to. Yeah, I used to jack it to the 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 pictures of the girls in bras. In the that, bras? Yeah, that was porno back then when you were like I don't know ten. Uh, kind of was. You'd have to look through the circulars and find. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you get that uh, or the before and after bikini ads. The before and after pictures in the back of some of those um, teen magazines. Really? That my older sister had, <laughs> where like you put this cream so on you your jacket b- to the fat chicks on the. No before? no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better, actually. I mean, that would be a funny story, too. But they used to have, in the back of these magazines, um, a breast cream. Oh, right. Remember the breast cream? Yes. Where supposedly the teenage girls were supposed to, like, you know, put this cream on their boobs. And, and their boobs would get bigger. Uh, and they'd show the before and after picture. And then you would, ridiculous. you would buy this product as a, as a teenage girl, not knowing that it's actually puberty that's making them bigger, not right. this stupid cream. <laughs> All right. So uh, the Sears catalog, you're, you used to jack it to that? <clears throat> Yeah, so I guess you that type of idea. I remember when I was 12 years old, I was in grade 8, and I wanted to get laid so bad because I was jerking off, and I wanted to know how I felt like. So I finally found this girl in grade 8 who wanted to do it with me. So she was like, she was like a wooden floor. So I was great. Of course so had she had a wooden floor. She was <laughs> Nothing was happening down there yet. That's right. So I thought all I had to do was stick it between her legs, and that would, that would be I was having sex with her. So we got on the floor in her uh, in her bedroom, I can't, uh, and then I stuck it between her legs. I remember it was too dry, you know, and I, I didn't want to have to stick it between her legs. I told her to squeeze her legs tighter so I could get it in there, and Wait. it wouldn't go in, so I had to go down and spit in it, right? <laughs> oh, my God, only in Georgia. Jesus. No surprise here. <laughs> Wait, were you having sex with her, or were you having sex with her legs? No, I was having sex with her. Oh, okay. The point was, I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I just had to stick it between her legs, but not in her hole. You see? <laughs> yeah, it, it... So, so all I did was I spit in the hole, and it got nice and greasy then. Then I got in there, and I, and I fucked her. <laughs> all right, Jesus. Then our parents came home. <laughs> and then, then I found out years later that it wasn't sex at all. I had to screw it between her legs. I didn't put it in the hole at all. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh thank you. God. Thank you, Fred. You scare me. That is a frightening All right, man. there goes Fred. <laughs> you are frightening. We could salvage that call, though. There are things when you're a kid, you know, that you think is sex. Misconceptions about right. sex that you, that you so do So to that have. guy, he, I think he wasn't sure you were supposed to, as he said, put it in the... You know, I'm not even going to say it. I mean, come on. Let's keep it a little clean on this show. It, it sounded so nice and innocent the way he told yeah. the story, didn't it? But I, ah, fuck. Right, I think what he was trying to say uh, back then, he thought having sex was just when you... Oh, no, he he did know, but he well, ended up having sex with her her legs. Opie, I have no idea what that guy was talking <laughs> I'm, about. I'm really trying to Somehow say that Somehow he, he had sex with the girl's legs and it's, didn't actually do it, but okay. he thought he was doing it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if he knew what actually doing it was. He wasn't very clear. He was laughing too hard at his memories. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, I talked about this in the past. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought you had to do it in the back door and that the other one, the the front one was just used for what, you know. And when when did you figure it out, the uh, the real way, last when? week? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Like, all the girlfriends are like, ow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, it was after the film, obviously. Like, oh, oh, oh that's used for two front. things. Well, you're not too clear on, on the uh, female parts because you don't have them. Right. So you're not sure. Right. You have the, the, the back, right. so you kind of know what that's about, so you assume. You know what? I think uh, we're going to just do a sex show today, I decided. Is it completely yeah. a sex show? Because you guys try to tell us what, the, what you want to hear on this program. Now we're going to just do sex all day Sexual long. Sexual discussion, and then we have sex on the couch. Didn't you have uh, girls? something similar? What you thought yep. was sex when you were uh, a lot younger? Yeah, I, I thought it was backdoor when I was a kid. I, I guess I was about maybe seven, and I thought it was backdoor. 
And then uh, when when I learned that it was front door. All right. So you thought it was back door as well. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not you're alone. Just, you're not sure of the anatomy. So you're you know you don't even know that there's anything different up there in, in a girl. Well, when you're when you're really young and you see the uh, the front one. Yeah. It's intimidating and uh, and quite scary. Very intimidating and, indeed. And when you and I were growing up, you know. Women weren't really taking care of that area. No, no, it was so a you couldn't big even imagine. Mess. You couldn't even imagine that was the the way to go. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you just couldn't imagine. Oh no, <laughs> it was very frightening. It was, it was very frightening. Frightening. I was uh, I was brought into it. Mom, turn the radio off. Okay, don't listen, because it's you yeah. Because we need Anthony to not have to worry about his mom listening. It's embarrassing talking about you know. Stories. My mom, it's hilarious. I was listening today. I had to turn you guys off. Well, I'm like, oh, that's good. what mine says too. That's fine. She called last night. She's like, yeah, I, I listen, you know, and th but there are times I just have to turn it off. It's like, oh boy, you know, whatever. Sixty-five year old woman is really the demo we're looking for. So no, turn it off. That's what you know. They, of course, you're not gonna like some of the stuff we're doing, especially when you consider it's me telling the stories. What didn't she like yesterday? The poker chips? Um, no, she she actually didn't listen yesterday. But the, there there have been things. Oh, okay. that, right. Whenever we talk about things like this, she doesn't like to listen, which is good. You know, don't listen. When I was a, a kid and kind of got hooked up through through my father in California, my father kind of hooked me up with this girl. He hooked you up with a lot of girls. On my, uh, I guess it was my. 13th birthday or something like that. Yeah. Is this the Buzz story? Yeah, Buzz. Old <laughs> Buzz. She was a friend of the family. She was like 19 years old. She, I guess she had banged everybody that we even knew. Everybody in the town? Yeah. She was like the town whore. Oh, was the, she really? The town whore. You've never whore. said that before. Yeah, she banged everybody. Was she just a local she chick in the bar? She banged all my father's uh, uh, horse friends, you know, that, that would go riding with him and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, your dad was a cowboy after he left Long Island. He's a cowboy. Said, Moved screw out to Long Southern Island. California. I'm going to California, and I'm going to be a cowboy, Bought baby. a bunch of horses. I went out there, uh, lived out there with him, he bought me a horse. I had the horse, the whole deal, Opie. I was a Western guy. I wore cowboy boots and the cowboy hat. I was a cowboy. It was pretty funny. Had a six-gun. Sure. A real one? A real one. Bought it for me for, uh, also, I guess, my, my 12th birthday. Got me that. Got me a, a a rifle. How long did you live out there? I, I thought you were just I visiting. 13, 14, 15, four, maybe three or four years. Oh, you did three or four years out yeah, there. Yeah, three or four oh, I years. I thought you just used to visit. My formative years. Because I know your mom threw you and your brother on the bus one day. No, that was actually coming home. She she I moved out there because I wanted to move out there. I wanted to hang out with my father and, and ride horses. It's a kid's dream to be right. a cowboy. Uh, my, my brother... Got thrown out there by my mother because she didn't want to deal with his pot smoking. My brother's pot smoking, stealing and lying, stealing my mommy's quarters <laughs> out of the quarter jar to buy joints and lying about it. So mommy threw him out. And, uh, so he went first? No, I went first. Oh, you, okay. And then he joined and you. And then he joined me out gotcha. there. Gotcha. Yeah, he wasn't really into the whole cowboy thing, so he just smoked pot out there. I was pretty much doing the same thing, only out there. And, uh, but you got into the cowboy lifestyle. Oh, I was totally into it. I used to listen to the like, meow, 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 <laughs> like stuff you'd hear on Hank's Place. I love Hank's Place. I would listen to that. That was my music. If you guys haven't checked out Hank's Place yet on XM Satellite Radio, I forgot what channel it is, but it's definitely worth checking out. It's like uh, either 10, 11, 12, or 13. Oh, it's hysterical. It's, it's way up there, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hank's Place rocks. Yeah. It's scary that people think like this in the country. Oh, it's amazing. In the country. But right, it's Red State uh, Station. Exactly. And anyway, guys. I was, I was one of them. I love that music. So, uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was a cowboy. And uh, there, she was like the town whore, Buzz. And uh, one night, uh, my father and his, his girlfriend at the time were, were going out and uh, just kind of left Buzz there and kind of were... were smiling like winking or something when when they left i didn't know what was happening and you were 13 12 yeah i guess i was 13 yeah and then and was then, this for your birthday yeah it was my birthday present and uh then buzz goes why don't you go upstairs and take a shower I'm like oh okay not thinking anything about it well you know? i was riding my horse today i had I'm a cowboy sweaty. dirt on me okay i had cowboy dirt on me so i did and i get out of the shower and i I'm ready to walk back downstairs and watch TV with Buzz. And I hear from the from the bedroom, "Aren't you coming in?" Like, and and 
No, it didn't even hit me at that point. Yeah. I'm just thinking, hmm. Now, what's the voice coming from in the bedroom? She was downstairs. Now, why would she be, oh, <laughs> it finally oh, hit you. oh, 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 you're like, this is it, oh, this is it, here it comes, I'm going to put all that jack in a good use. <laughs> yeah, so I heard, did you get a, an immediate boner? Oh, yeah, what, are you kidding, you get that whoosh feeling all over? Well, that's the blood just rushing. Oh, here it comes, here comes that sex stuff, and then I kind of peer around the corner, and I look in the bed, and this this vision is just etched in my head. <laughs> it's Buzz. Is it still a really hot vision for you? Uh, it's one of those nice little memories you have <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> I I remember seeing Buzz sitting in my bed. Yeah. Uh, but she's sitting up with her head and and torso against the uh, headboard. Was she hot? Be honest. Uh, no, she was. I've a, heard the story a couple times. You know what it was? She wasn't fat uh, at all. But she was a big girl, like tall and uh, not skinny, but not fat. And she had huge cans. How much bigger was she than you? It must have looked ridiculous. Oh, okay. Let's just I've never heard way. this part of the story because you're 12, 13. I was 13. 13. Yeah. You couldn't have weighed more than what, 110, 120 pounds? I don't know. I was a little more than that. But, you know, it just must have looked ridiculous. All right. And uh, she... She was sitting up uh, in the bed with the blanket, like, in her lap. It just came up to her lap. So her huge cans were sitting there, all milky white. They were huge? <laughs> oh, they were huge. With, they were huge. With nice blue veins. <laughs> <laughs> they were just huge. Well, you see the blood just pumping. <laughs> boom, boom, translucent. <laughs> pumping boom, to boom. the nipple. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. She was sitting there, white. and I looked in, and it was pretty much the first time I ever saw him real live. You know, I've seen a lot of porno. Yeah, I had seen a lot of porno at that point. And they set they sat up nice. Uh, yeah, because she was nineteen. You know. Oh, okay, okay. She was nineteen. She was the older woman to me. I but... know. When you tell the story, I, I I I keep thinking like she was a thirty year old woman. No, but she was, no. She was no, nineteen, and you were thirteen. No, nineteen. All right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she goes, "Well, why don't you come in?" I'm like, all right. You know, I went in and. Uh, and the rest is uh, my history. You know, it just it happened. Oh, you want to stop the story right there? Well, I knew what to do, so there's no real details. How long did you last? It wasn't that long. How long? Know. Be honest. I don't know. A couple I, pumps? I Honestly, I would tell you, I really don't remember. But Dude, no, I remember kind of getting into it. The it wasn't first time like, you do it, it's... It, you, pff, come on. You know what, though? You I were drunk? I had jacked <laughs> it in the shower that I had just taken. I had... I had jacked it in the shower. <laughs> you were a jacking machine, so, A man. monkey! God. I was like a monkey. I swear to you, a monkey. So did you just do regular sex? Yeah, but the, the point is, and how this got brought up, with the intimidation factor of the uh, the vag when you first see it's it. It's quite scary the it's first quite time scary. you see it. And, dude, this was... And there's a lot of parts down there, and you're like, wow, what does all that do? Oh, my God, I'm going to need a chart. <laughs> right, give me a map. You know, we had, we had we had continued to have sex for months afterwards. You know, like I was I was going to she would she would show up at the house after my father and his girlfriend would leave in the mornings before school. So I'm getting ready to go to school, and she would pop into my bed, and we'd have sex, and off I'd go to school. Now what's messed up? If it was a 19 year old guy and a 13 year old girl. Yeah, I did get in trouble for that. What? I'm kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, people wouldn't think that that's cool. Like a no. guy hearing that, uh, you know, hearing you tell the story that you're 13 banging a 19-year-old, that is a yeah. really cool story. Uh -huh. Every guy dream, dreamt that that could happen to them when they were growing up. I told people at school, and they didn't believe me. They thought I was just another one of their friends lying to them. They're like, get out of here. I'm like, no, really? I just had sex. Were you the first one to my finger. Were you the first one to have sex? Yeah, yeah. And your group of friends? Oh, yeah. You must yeah. have. That's, like, really young. Uh-huh. Wow. But the uh now now uh, one of these uh, sexual encounters before school uh you know she she goes down on me and it was just you know wee hoo boy this is goody goody more fun than toys. And uh and then she goes would you, would you like to do this to me? <laughs> oh no. And and dude 
I am talking. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't that old. Crank this up, baby. <laughs> oh, she wasn't that old. Nineteen. Still a teen in the name. Still a teen. Not a nasty Mrs. Robinson. Yeah, like I'm, I'm banging Dean Warmer's wife. <laughs> With those pointy tits in her bra. This music's playing in your head. No. <laughs> As he pulls down her huge panties. <laughs> yeah, he pulled down her huge. She did have big 70s panties. <laughs> like, the, you know the ones that just are not cut at all up the uh, the legs? Yeah. Just big bloomers? <laughs> Those are the ones. Let me step out of my bloomers. Yeah. And th- it had to be a mess because this was like the 70s, right? You kick the, uh, yeah. Late she 70s, kicks, maybe? Kicks the bloomers over the lamp and the whole room goes dark. <laughs> <laughs> Her big bloomers. So she goes, would you like to do this to me? Would you like to do this to me? And oh. the only vision I had was the vision I st- saw of it before I, you know, put it in. So uh, I remembered what it looked like <laughs> very vividly. What did it look and, like? Come on. Dude, it was, it was as if... You had punched Fidel Castro in the mouth, and his lips <laughs> and, swelled and up. knocked out all his teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looked like. It looked like Albert Einstein with a head wound. It was awful. And there was Big. A, and there was a couple shots of Novocaine in the lips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he was, was going for droopy. dentistry. <laughs> and and uh, the hair was spread out so far, like, past the area. She had, like, leg hair yeah, on that. It was giant. Thank God you just don't see that these days. You just don't. You know? You don't. Thank God. She was, it used to grow, I don't know, man. Maybe we were brought up as cavemen in the in uh, some other era because it used to grow, like, halfway down the thigh. Down the thigh? Still, man. Uh, does it even grow like that anymore? I don't know. I Girls don't think are so. Girls less hairy, more gooder now. But know what the problem is? All these styles come back. That style will come back. You think? Before our time is done on this earth. I don't think so. We are going to have to deal with that again. I'm telling you. I don't think so. I'm telling you. That's like the Hitler mustache. Not down there, but the Hitler mustache on your face. I never see that coming back again. I'm telling you, man. It's going to come back. Yeah. All right, so. She sat on the edge of the bed one time, uh, naked, and when she was sitting and her lap, you know, her, her leg, she was bent at the waist because she's sitting. It looked like she was wearing black furry panties. Ugh. Her her pubes were just so stretched out. I can't out. imagine girls were getting a lot of oral back then. <laughs> yeah, I can't I know. imagine because now today, you know, most of the girls are completely shaved. But just think of the hairy mess when easier. they did. Big Burt Reynolds mustache and pork chop sideburns going down on a chick with a Ugh. rug in her lap. Just a big hairy mess Ugh. all around. God. Oh, cavemen. Yeah, that went on for. Uh, for years. So did you do until it? Until I left back to... No. I went... How'd you get out of goes, it? She goes, would you mind doing this to me? And I just went, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said, I don't think so. <laughs> she knew I was a rookie. So then what I'm happened? I'm not ready to go for the big league. So what happened then? We just continued having regular sex. Yeah. You know, she didn't cut me off from it. That's great, man. I, I you're guess going she to, understood. You're going to eighth grade, getting banged every morning. That's it was amazing. odd. You know, it was pretty. It was pretty That's odd. amazing, man. And then girls my own age, I was like, you know, jeez, this chick don't know shit. And she doesn't Did even you have, help a brother out. She doesn't even have boobs yet. I'm like, hey, would you, you know, mind doing this to me? And they go, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow, that's funny, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hank's place is Channel 13. Good. Channel 13. <laughs> right. um, let me see if Ozzy could... Uh, that's a great story, by the way, Anthony. Oh, More it was, details. Uh, it was greater to live, Opie. More details. And then the next day, yeah. um, I got in the uh, truck with my dad. He was driving me to school. And he kind of just looks over and goes, So, how was last night? That's a cool dad, man. For my 13th birthday, I got a 10-speed bike. Wouldn't it be fun to know what you, you know now? You got a hooker. You basically got a hooker. Yeah, well, she was, it wasn't money. Did thing. your she dad bang her too? Probably. Who knows? Probably compare notes. Yeah, yeah dad. I snatch. What it was. Uh, yeah. Now, now it kind of threw been... me. Yes. How was last night? Oh, if you knew what you uh, what you know now, like what you I could have come back with. It's like so. How was last night? And go, oh, dad, I don't like girls. You know. 
<laughs> you know, thanks for the effort and stuff, and I really don't like girls. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's... I'd freak them out. Yeah, that's Yeah, it was like, wow, no, it was, uh, you know, it was uh, cool. It was good. You had the coolest dad in school. Your brother wants in on the conversation. Oh yeah, about you and Buzz when you were a kid, Anthony. Oh, let's out there see. in California. Let's see what Joe's going to add. Brother Joe, Anthony's brother, of course. Joey. Joe. Yo. Hey, hey what's, what's up, up, man? You're on the air. Yeah. Oh. What the hell happened? What's up? What the hell's wrong with you? Nothing, man. I was just getting gas. I'm on my way back from Atlantic City. <laughs> Oh, you're getting gas? Okay. Yeah, I'm coming back from Atlantic City. I just saw Tom Jones. Oh, how was that? It was cool, man. Did he do dry vagina? <laughs> bunch of goddamn old... No, nah, a bunch of old ladies, though. It was hysterical, man. They're, like, throwing these big old bloomers up at him. Do they still throw their underwear at that guy? No, oh, it's hysterical, man. Oh, I love... Joe, you have a great life now, man. You don't have to get up early to do oh, that. Oh, Joe just cruises around just, the world. He's just uh, doing his band thing and going, going to, to Tom see, Jones concert. See Tom Jones because he can now. How, do, how does Tom Jones sound, Joe? Things are good. You guys have uh, made it that way for me. Thank you very much. What's Tom Jones sound like? Any good? Dry. dry. Was that a Tom yeah, Jones song originally? Yeah. yeah. The guy sounded incredible. He's, yeah, he was really good, man. Still has his pipes. Great show. That hasn't lost a thing. Wow, very cool. Hasn't lost got, a thing. I got to go check him out. It's pretty That's, fun. Uh, well, anyway, I'm calling to, to, to talk about Buzz for a second. Yes. Oh, oh, Anthony tends to whitewash things just a little bit. What did I whitewash? Oh, my God. She didn't sound like a beauty. Nothing about... No, no, no. Everything is, everything is good as far as your detail goes, except for one thing. Buzz looked like a Cro-Magnon. He, she, she had... All right. She had the distended brow. She had the unibrow. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, that's a detail that you forgot to tell us, Anthony. I wasn't looking at her face. I was horrified at the vag. What was uh, what was hairier, her vag, vag or her head? It looked the same. Her her eyebrow, she Jesus. had a univag and a unibrow. Wow. You were talking about the yeah the, the hair thing. I mean, that was uh, directly due to the fact that she was like a, a Neanderthal. Hey, at least I wasn't 15 banging that 30-year-old mother with a friggin' axe crotch. <laughs> Wait a second, dude. She was, she was 32. <laughs> and, and she Wait, was are we going to get a new story today? Oh, there was one time I was with Buzz in one of these bedrooms in this house. Joe's and, the older brother. Go ahead. And Joe was slamming this 32-year-old mom. Uh, while you were uh, banging Buzz? Yeah, in the same room. And Joe goes, hey, at midnight, let's switch. And and I said I, uh, go, hold there, on, hold I on. go there is no way I'm banging that old broad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold and on. She man. walked. She walked like she'd been riding a horse for about 18 years. Uh, that girl. What was her name? Do you remember? Uh, Sue. Sebring. Sue. This girl Sue, a uh, woman Sue. She, her her legs were so spread apart, and she had the gap like where her vag was supposed to be was a gap like a hatchet wound. Was and that from riding horses? I don't know what it was from. Or maybe doing get, horses. Maybe getting slammed by everything that walked. But dude, she had to accommodate me, so it worked All right, out. Wait a minute. Oh, sure. Hold on. Let's slow down, guys. Slow down. So, I got to get the visual here. Yeah. You're 13, Anthony. You're banging Buzz. Yeah. While Dad's out doing his thing. Uh-huh. And Joe's in the I think bed. I was probably 14 at this time. All right. And Joe's in the bed next to you, banging a 32-year-old? No, a different room. Oh, okay. no, no, he was in a different room. It was uh, a yeah, oh, the all right. There was a hallway and then two rooms at the end of each hallway. Did you hear each other going at it? I don't think so. There was Peter Frampton was playing. <laughs> oh, my they God. always used to put the Frampton <laughs> Comes Alive album on. <laughs> Come on, I swear. <laughs> they, Sue would always put the Frampton Comes Alive album on blasting, and all we heard was wow, 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 wow. <laughs> don't you feel? Like we do. That, was ah, ah, that ah. wasn't Frampton. That was actually you going I mean, down on Buzz. You know the, old man, the old man hooked me up with her as well. I mean, the old really? man did a lot for us that way. Oh, there it is. There's some Frampton. <laughs> is this bringing back memories? Oh, it's Boys. bringing back such memories. Jesus. Yeah, I think the old man was banging Sue also. Probably. Yeah. Right, wait, so Joe was a little older, so you were only 15 or 16 banging the 32-year-old? Yeah, I was about 16, I guess. So. Yeah, and he was he was banging the uh, the 32 year old and wanted to switch at midnight. What you guys had a little conference in the hallway? Yeah, yeah. In between we bangings, we saw Sue breaking out the Frampton album. We knew we were getting laid. So uh, <laughs> real, real tag team. Yeah, so it, Joe wanted to do the switch, and man, I had believe it or not, Buzz with the unibrow, the big 70s Earth Mama muff, the 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 big Amazon woman uh, was bad enough. 
but this is th- telling how bad Sue was. I wanted no part of her. There was nothing about Sue that was turning me on. She was Dude, much on, too she old. Was, she was thin, though. She was thin. She was small. She was emaciated. She had flapjack tits. Uh, she had two. Uh, she had two kids uh, who were in the other room. She had two kids in the other room. Dude, what? Wait, wait, wait. In the other room? Yeah, there was another room that the kids were in. This was a I flop would, house. Oh, it was I a swear ridiculous. to God, man, I would have gone through five Sues before I would have taken one Buzz. You wanted Buzz. You were the one that recommended the switch, that uh, suggested the switch at midnight. Dude, that was because I was 15, and I figured, what the fuck? We were just we were screwing around. It would be fun, something to do. Switch it up a little bit. Horrifying. What were the kids doing while you were banging their mother? They are probably playing with Legos. Who the yeah. hell knows? Who the hell knows? But Did they that, call you the Daddy girl, Joe? The girl, the girl walking in one time on me. Oh, great. The little girl walking yeah. in on us one time. She was like seven. I know, and she was only about maybe six years younger than me, right? <laughs> Can we find any of these people? Who knows? I don't know. That guy, what, what the hell's going on in California? Sue's probably... Uh, Which hippie got colony the uh, should we check? <laughs> oh my, you guys are a bunch of hippies out there. Sue yeah, was hippies. Was Tom Jones last night. Who knows? Probably. She's old. Old She's broad. Old Joe, you had a great father, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. He, he liked to he, he liked gave you to guys party, pussy. That's for sure. He gave you guys poo man. Guns, I remember. I remember. Yeah. And guns, alcohol, and the bitches. He hooked us up. You know what my horses, dad gave me? Booze, bitches. My dad gave me a good jump shot. Uh, there you go. That's what I got from my dad. A good jump shot. I used to come and really good ball handling skills, and you guys yeah. are getting pooha, man. Uh, I used to come home from school. I went to a Marco Forrester Junior High School, and it was right by the stable where we kept the horses. So I would get done with school about three o'clock, walk back to the stable, and every day my father, who for some reason uh, couldn't hold a job, was sitting in a chair with uh, Chato, the Mexican guy that had a horse at the same ranch, and uh, they would just sit there drinking what they called yambos. They were the big 40-ounce beers. Why don't we get another yambo, Yoey? And then they'd sit there just drinking beer. And when their wives or girlfriends would bitch at them, they would look at each other and go, Ah, I'm going to get me another one. And this was their life. Riding horses, drinking, and and screwing girls like Buzz and uh, Sue. Yeah. So he was getting us right in line to do that. Drinking beer, riding horses, and screwing women. Making homebrew. And making the homebrew. They used to get these casks from these whiskey factories, big uh, wooden barrels. And they would uh, take them back to the ranch, fill them up with uh, like five gallons of water, and then roll it. Every couple of days, you'd roll it like a quarter roll. And then after a month, you'd drain it out, and you'd get one gallon of liquid that would come out. But it was it was like pure alcohol that it would, it would leach out of the wood from the casks. And we're, we're kids! And they're giving us shots of this stuff. We were fucked up. I mean, completely hammered. I what never a, seen what that a great before. way to be raised. <laughs> Dude, you drank a glass. You had it on the rocks. Yep. And stood up from That's a how I drank at 13. Uh, <laughs> on the rocks. On the rocks. Go ahead, Joe. Joey. Yo. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, so, and then you proceeded to go straight down to your knees. Oh, yeah. Took a yeah, big I, shot I and just went thud. Passed out. It was great. Why straight down to your knees? Buzz was uh, standing in front of Anthony. No, I wouldn't have gotten on my knees for Buzz, that's for sure. (laughs) Looked like tumbleweed rolled in our lap. (laughs) All right, you know what? Uh, To wrap this up, uh, you guys got to tell the story of uh, Mom finally calling out to California and going, boys, it's time to come home. I think she was a little concerned for your safety. Oh, that was when we, uh, yeah, we we had decided it was time to come back east. And maybe yeah. get civilized for a, for a little while. I was just coming back to visit. Joe, of course, was coming back to live there. But after I visited uh, with my family here in New York for a while, I realized I was kind of programmed in California. And they kind of deprogrammed me here in New York. And I decided I better stay because I really was heading on the, the road to ruin out there. But uh, it's funny how you guys got back home. You had to take yeah. the bus trip, Yeah, right? well, my mother had sent out two airline tickets for me and my brother to fly us from uh, California to New York. So my father got the tickets, uh, went to the uh, airline, sold the tickets, <laughs> took the money, and bought us two Greyhound bus tickets <laughs> and uh, put us on the bus. And there we were on this two-week-long excursion. But you can't be pissed at him because he gave you poo man. There you I go. I with hookers and pimps. Yeah, so we were taking a bus all the way from uh, California, L.A., to New York City. 
and it stopped at every city. You know, we stopped everywhere. And the collection of dregs of society, male hookers, hustlers, um, f girl hookers, pimps, and I'm talking like like huggy bear pimps. These guys with the, the fur hats and everything. It was just a collection. An Uzo bum who had a bottle of uh, Uzo with him the whole trip that everybody, when he passed out, would oh, take wow. and pass around the bottle. And we were drinking this bum's Uzo. Uh, this hot chick we met that was getting off in Cheyenne but decided to hang out with us all the way into New York. Who knows what happened to her? Probably murdered or ended up a hooker. And then we wow. finally get to New York after two weeks on the road. And right when we step off the bus, uh, we get arrested by uh, NYPD. This detective and comes over. Came up to me and, and, and grabbed me by the shoulder and said, Excuse me, boys, you have to come with me. Right? Mm-hmm. And now you, you left out the fact that I was smuggling in tie sticks. Right. Now the, the, the cop goes, come with me, get your bags. And we're like, oh, my God. Joe's got, like, pounds of tie sticks. How old his... were you, Joe? Oh, God. Probably How 17 I? now. I think you were 17. Oh, okay. I was about 17, 16, 17. And he just, like, a load of tie stick in his bag. And uh, the guy goes, w w we're going to get your bags. <laughs> and uh, and we're going to check you out, you know, because they thought we were runaways. They thought we were runaways coming into New York to, you know, hustle or something. So thank God that girl did follow us from Cheyenne and just hang out with us on the bus. We told her, could you get this one bag and get it immediately uh, before we get there? And she ran and, and got the bag and uh, actually didn't steal it and took it. Uh, and then uh, the, guy, the cop goes to call my mom up, and I'm like, could you just identify yourself and first say your kids are fine, I'm NYPD, and I just took them, and I want to verify that they're not runaways. He gets on the phone. Hello, uh, Rosemary. Yes. Um, do you have two sons, Joseph and Anthony? Uh, yeah, and you just, uh, my mother's horrified. This guy just strung it along only... without, like, telling her we were okay. That guy was a real prick. But he hey, nice got off the hook. Got, uh, remember the knives that the old man gave us? Yeah, he, like, confiscated our knives. My side, and he and uh, the and the, uh, the cop was patting me down. You know, he goes, oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Puts his hand over by his gun, takes the knife away. From yeah, what me. a collar. Yeah. What a collar, getting the Kumia boys. Goddamn hysterical. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for the memories, Joe. I forgot about Sue. All right. Well, more stories than that, though. For yeah. another day, the, all the, the Mojave Desert uh, oh, I know. Uh, we'll, shootings and yeah, everything. Yeah, we'll talk about great. the shooting uh, next time you call in. I right? saw more shootings than Puffy. Yeah. Um, on an entire show, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a great story, but you're going to have to tell it uh, live in yeah. the studio, though. But, Joe, bashing Buzz when you're banging a Sue is uh, a little much. Come Dude, on. on. They were both she was this mousy woman with these big glasses. Remember <laughs> Sue's big dopey? She looked like Tweety Bird. <laughs> yeah, these big glasses. Hi, Joe. I got my glasses, and I'm, I'm going to bang you to Peter Frampton. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my ass hurts from last night. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So don't bang my Cro-Magnon woman. I <laughs> don't uh, no, man. Who would oh. you rather 